Okay, so today we're going to be doing uh, flats and butts with the bazooka. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. Uh, we're going to put the tape on the bazooka. We've been using it, it's a little dirty. Uh, this is how the tape goes on. It goes uh, all the way to the right. I don't know if you want to come in and uh, just show them exactly so they see. So the top of the tape should be running off to the right of the bazooka. And then uh, we put the, this thing back on, which holds the tape on. Then I want to show you how I fold the tape here. You grab it, and you fold it this way. Hold on, let me just see. Oh, okay, folding it. And, and then this is important or else it's going to cut your hand if you put it the other way. So you need it this way. Square a little bit. And you insert it into the slot here. Right there. Until the needle catches it. There, and now it's inside. You can't pull on it anymore. So uh, this bazooka is empty, so I'm going to have to fill it up. So what did you just do to the top of the bazooka there? Fill it up. You push this part down here, this wheel. This circle. You push it down and this lever here, you push it all the way in like that so it holds the wheel down. And it's holding the wheel down. We're going to fill it up now. So there's a spot, a spout here. Oh. And we put the spout. Where the pump is, we got our pump and we mixed our mud in the previous shot. So you should have seen that. And uh, this bazooka takes about uh, 13 pumps to fill it up. You never ever want to overfill your bazooka. Yeah, we, we put our, this, we put the hand at the top of the bazooka here. And uh, we uh, uh, want to feel for the, the thing that fills up in here. And the bazooka fills up with a little round plastic thing. And when you feel it hit your fingers here at the top, you stop filling it up. Because if you fill it up too much, you're going to break the wire that's, that's inside. There's a wire that uh, fills up everything. There's a big me mechanism. Yeah, mechanism that makes, as you run out the tape, it pushes the mud out and the wire kind of, you know, it follows the track at the, at the side of the head of baz the bazooka. And uh, yeah, it's actually a beautiful thing. So, so you want to make sure you put your hand up here and you feel it. And as soon as you feel something hit your fingers, you stop pumping. Okay, I'm just going to turn. Well, no, I think I'll. Oh, now I felt the thing hit my fingers up here. So I stop pumping. Takes it off the pump. And the bazooka is now full and ready to run the flats and the butts on the wall. Oops. So I gotta move this leader once I'm done. I move the leader off of here. A little bit of mud exploded, so I'm gonna put that back into the bucket. Move the lever off. Over here there's a, there's a wheel that you turn with your fingers. This thing sometimes needs to be pushed down a little bit so that it catches. Just this little button here. It's the same thing on every bazooka almost. All the bazookas work the same. So I'm going to want to forward the tape until it comes out of the top. Just to advance it so that, you know, it, that's... And I'm going to want to spin, spin this until mud starts... Flows through. Until mud starts coming out like that a little bit. And I'm going to want to advance it a little bit more. And now my tape is ready to be pushed against if, the wall. If you see that the tape is actually right here, it's hanging over that a little bit. And you got some mud. The mud's there. Are you ready to go, Phil? So I'm going to put it on the butt. We've got a butt right here. So you want to push kind of hard with the back. And, uh, when you run that, he's not running it flat. If you look here, he's not running that flat. One side is actually touching the wall, and the other side is off of the wall. Mm, only one wheel. On one side of the wheel, it hits the wall yeah. all the time, or else you're going to splatter mud everywhere. Yeah, it's going to come out on both sides, and it's going to be nasty. You don't want that. What you want is an even flow of mud so that when you're, when you're wiping it, the guy behind you doesn't have to fight. So we got that one run. Why don't you show us how fast this thing can go, bro? I'm going to cut it on the next one here. Oh, I see. Okay. So again, I got an advanced. 
I got a little bit of mud on my tape, it's not dry or nothing. It's dense enough in front of the wheel so that I can push on it. It on catches. One wheel. I only push on one wheel always, like just said. Also, there's a there's a trigger at the bottom of the bazooka that makes this wheel, this thing right here, um, well, it's it called comes, the creaser wheel. It, it's called the creaser wheel, and it comes out, and it's nice to run it in behind that wheel, just so that you know you have a little bit more adjustment with the tape. I'll totally show you that in a minute. And you get to the to how far you want, just about, and you cut it with this. This piece here cuts cuts the tape. And you saw that it was actually down about four four and a half inches of tape before Phil cut it. Um, so that when he rolls it out, the rest of whatever's left in the head of the bazooka gets out and put on to where, where you need. You don't want to go over too much. Uh, some more butts there, Phil, if you want to. You know, this is how you want to hold your bazooka always. One hand goes close, close to the cutter, the cutter so that you can it's in between. grab onto it and cut. And the other hand goes at the bottom because your creaser wheel is right here. Your fingers are always in it like that, Phil, when you run it? This is how I always hold the bazooka. Okay. My just at the bottom like this. Okay. And this this finger is used to push against the piece of wheel. Which moves Flip that. that. Oh! That's the trigger that makes that move. See? Okay. So when I run it, I'm going to advance it again here. Advance. Spin the wheel on this side to get the mud going. Advance. Grab the bottom where the piece of wheel is. Put the one wheel against against the wall. He's standing a little bit. a little bit. Hit the creasy wheel with my fingers. And go right there and cut it. See, that was about four inches from the top when you when he cut that. So uh, I'm gonna run my butt here. Last butt in this room here. Uh, there's two by the door oh, as well, bro. Two butts there, yeah, but uh, we'll just again this this the, the creasy wheel. I passed it. And this goes really fast for me, and it just goes like this, and cut it. And now it's ready to be wiped. 